Okay, now we are actually on the real pad 5 with the rocket sitting there like it would just prior to launch. The structure that was around it had been moved back and was away from it and the rocket itself would just sit there. And uh, I'm standing on the cable tray again that connects to it and there was an umbilical which was hooked up to the spacecraft and also some tail plugs to the rocket. But this is all there was to it to uh, get to the launch. And when you look at the panoramic view, you will see how close the blockhouse actually is to the actual rocket. The only blast deflection we had was uh, what we used to call a lemon squeezer because it was set underneath the rocket. Now this was a similar launch configuration that the Germans used in World War II where they would fire their V2 rockets from intersection of streets and set up the same way. They had the little pedestal, they had the little lemon squeezer underneath and they used tanks as blockhouses and they would fire the V2s toward England uh, from Holland and from areas on the coast. But this is pretty much the setup they used at that time.